Hello everybody, my name is Aaron aka Pulling Teeth and welcome to episode 30, 3-0 of PTW, or I should say it's week 30, there's probably more than 30 episodes if we're counting the major events, but it is officially week 30, a big milestone here in PTW and to celebrate we are kicking things off with a PTW World's Championship match. Martial Law is cashing in a rematch clause. He, uh, most champions do not get rematch clauses, but the board decided that Martial Law deserved one. After everything that he went through as champion, the long reign he had, they decided he deserved a one-on-one -on -one rematch against the new champion, Big Papa Pump himself, Scott Steiner. So that's what we are getting tonight. We are getting Martial Law and Steiner one-on-one. -on -one. We know the winner will be taking on RVD at a later date, who won the number one contendership last week. Ref, ring the bell, and here we go. It's interesting because Steiner obviously won the title in a in a three-way match, including Paul Phoenix. So this is a completely different environment when it's one-on-one. -on -one. We are kicking the week 30 off here with a world's title match. We are kicking things off big here. Starting off strong. And look at Law, the quick strikes. Steiner nearly throwing Law out of the ring there. Cover. Not even a one count. It's amazing that we've made it to 30 weeks here at PTW. I'm impressed. I don't know about anybody else. Not from Steiner, but a shot to the ribs there from Law. Raking the eyes with the boots. I mean, they're not really boots, are they? They're more like just little shoe, like slip on shoe things. Either way, he raked the eyes over and imagine that hurts. Chin lock from Law. Over the uh, many weeks that Law was world's champion, we found out that his, uh, he has two main ways of putting people away. He usually either chokes them out or he kicks them in the head so hard that they get knocked out cold. Those are his two main ways of doing things, so you know he's going to aim for that with Steiner. Steiner was able to put Law away at the pay-per-view. He was able to put both Paul and Law away in that three-way match. Pinning them both. Because it was elimination. Back and forth they go. Now Steiner has got the power advantage. Cover. Just a one count. Law is not going to go down that easy. Oh, and Steiner goes low. I mean, not above breaking the rules, but neither is Law. Nice back heel trip and more raking of the eyes. It is interesting to see that Law will break rules as often as he possibly can. But so will Steiner. Both men not afraid to get dirty when they need to. Look at these spinning back kicks over and over again. He's just doing essentially the black mass over and over. And then a big kick to the face. More raking of the eyes. Law is really coming to play here tonight. He wants to be a two-time world's champion. He had the longest reign in PTW history. And there's a roll up from Law. One, two. Oh, 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 oh. Is Steiner going to be a short term champion? Early on in PTW, we had a lot of short term champions. We had a lot of champions who didn't really hold on to their titles very long. Funnily enough, in the early days of PTW, the only champion that actually held on to them. Oh, God, the choke! He puts people away with this quite regularly. Right after the roundhouse as well, but no, Steiner gets out. As I was saying, the only champions that actually managed to hold on to their titles for any length of time early on was uh, RVD and his then tag team partner Kane, who were tag team champs. They held on to those quite some time. And the man who's going to be facing the winner of this. We still don't know when, but RVD's got that title opportunity. He is next in line, he is number one contender. The only reason Law got this match first is because he was so impressive as champion that he wanted it first and the board was like, you know what, yeah, you've earned it. Big insecurity there from Law. A little kick to the side of the head and another shot just drops Steiner, goes back to that choke. He is desperate to try and pass Steiner out. Pass Steiner out, is that a te terminology? I'm not sure. Law just does quick jabs and then back to the choke again. He is determined to get Steiner to pass out. But Scott is not having any of it. And he's done it again, and he does! The game plan from Law stuck to it. Multiple chokehold after chokehold after chokehold after chokehold, and Steiner was not able to withstand it. Scott drops the title. 
a very short-term champion and, well, lack of a better term, back to the status quo. <laughs> Lotto is world champion once again. That's how we're kicking off episode 30 here, a week 30 of PTW. Good God. Well, folks, all the matches tonight are going to be of significant importance and they're going to be... Uh, big time play matches here so I'm not going to announce them ahead of time so you're going to have to just wait and see what we're getting tonight because we want it to be a special one so ladies and gentlemen right where you are the next match is coming up in just a moment here we go folks the second match this evening this match is something of a dream match for a lot of people that never had the opportunity to occur so we are getting it though here tonight Ladies and gentlemen, on his way to the ring, the Rainmaker himself, Kazuchika Okada. You may be sat there wondering to yourself, who is Okada taking on tonight? Who is the Rainmaker here to face? In, like we said, something of a dream match. Well, folks, we haven't seen him for a little while, but he is back, ladies and gentlemen, the Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels. Shawn Michaels and Kazuchika Okada. Like I said, every match tonight has to be of some importance here. So in order to get this match on the card, we had to guarantee for both men that the winner tonight gets themselves an opportunity at a title of their choosing. As we know, Shawn Michaels had an opportunity very similar to that before, and he squandered it. He went after the junior heavyweight title. But these men are going to be slightly different this time. They get the opportunity to go after a championship of their choosing. However, they can't just run it in like a money in the bank. They can't just do it spare of the moment. It has to be announced ahead of time. Oh, low blow from Sean. So it's a little different to Sean's last one. Sean now dragging Okada out towards the centre. Throw into the corner, kick to the ribs from Okada. Sweet chin music already, less than two minutes into the match. Sean's trying to put this away quickly. And Okada kicks out before even a one. Okada's like, I'll take your super kick. Big, powerful slam from Okada. Okada's obviously going to have the size and strength advantage here over Sean. Okada is one of the most well rounded wrestlers, maybe ever. Legitimately, he could do pretty much anything. Now into an STO to Sean. I suppose you could say the same thing with Shawn Michaels. He's one of the most well-rounded ever. And could do pretty much anything. Back into the STO again. Seems Okada is thinking to himself. He needs to put somebody away. If he wants to do it. He's going to have to do it in well quick succession. Submissions. But Sean doing the same thing. Going for a figure four. Okada lifting Michaels over again with the suplex. Dropping him centre. Goes for the knee, but Michaels evades. And here we go. Chop for forearm. And Sean gets the better of it. And another chop for good measure while he's down. And then into the sharpshooter from Sean. Oh, God, that boot to the face from Okada there. Now the arm's trapped. Five gone. Oh, swinging net breaker from Michaels. Back into the figure four. These two still seemingly in those early stages of trying to figure each other out. Oh, just the same over the knee from Okada. Back again into the STO. Very much a game plan here. DDT, though, from Sean. Oh, it looks like he was going to try and take a run up. Oh, Okada goes behind. When Okada goes behind, it's dangerous. He hit one German. Michaels managed to get out of it with the elbows and goes for the pin. Okada again, another German suplex keeps hold of Sean Rainmaker! <laughs> Cover, but I think Sean's feet are in the road. No power in the not! Oh, but Sean kicks out! Swinging net breaker again from Michaels. Sean surviving the Rainmaker, and Okada's already survived the sweet cheap music, so both men hitting each other with their best shots early. Big drop kick to the back of the head from Okada again. Yeah, whenever Okada goes behind, it's very dangerous. Okada tries to lock in at submission, but Michael's feet are on the ropes. Now, multiple chops to Okada's chest takes him down. When it comes to throwing chops, there are very few in the world who are better than Shawn Michaels. 
They're throwing a good shot. There are a few people who I would say are better, but that list is not long. Sean throws Okada to the floor, takes a second to catch his breath. Because Sean is the veteran. Not like saying Okada hasn't been around a while, because he has, but heavy rain. There's Okada's been around quite some time himself, but still, compared to Michaels, it's not that long. And an ankle lock from Sean. Sean's showing tonight he has got a vast array of submissions in his arsenal. More than people give him credit for, I think. Oh, but back over the knee. Okada's got Sean back up off the ropes. Just collide and bump heads. So Okada, the bigger of the two, stayed on his feet. Sliding drop kick from Okada. Nearly set Michaels out of the ring, but Michaels straight back to his feet. Press for a drop kick of his own. Doesn't land it. Okada now slams Sean to the floor. Rather than taking a breath, he follows him out. Oh, but Sean DDTs Okada on the ground. Another big chop to the chest. And a low blow from Michaels. But Okada back heel trip. Both competitors down on the floor there for a second. Okada back to his feet. Hooked up, shot to the ribs, drops Michaels to the ground. Okada, is Okada thinking tombstone on the floor? Jumping, spinning, tombstone, pile driver on the floor. Michaels has now got a chair. Chair shot to the spine, Okada stays standing. But Sean, pile driver of his own. Okada bounced back to his feet. How do you take a pile driver and bounce straight back to your feet? Apparently like that, German suplex. No, Okada's going for moonsault again from Sean. Again, it's the first time he's done it tonight. Sean might have groggied himself after that moonsault. Oh, takes out the leg. Smart move from Michaels. And a drop kick sends Okada to the ground. Both competitors back to the feet at the same time. Okada goes behind again. Sean again goes low. And Sean's countered to the Rainmaker, it seems. Diving elbow drop from Michaels. Drags Okada away from the ropes. Lama, he straw, one, two, 2.9, Okada kicks out of the elbow. Both those men throw a great diving elbow drop to be fair. Cover one, two, oh, 2.9 again, Okada just gets the shoulder up. And now they're strike exchanging against center of the ring, Sean, sweet chin music. One, two, throw, oh God, so close. 2.9 and Michaels again goes low. Honestly, Sean could pull that sweet chin music out of just about anywhere. The Rainmaker takes a bit more setup. Move it across the ropes, back elbow drop. Okada with the pose. Time to move up a super kick. This is what I mean. Sean will pull it out of anywhere. Okada keeps surviving. It's a third super kick. Okada has survived a big drop kick. Sends Michaels to the ground. Stands him up. Okada goes behind. Rainmaker. That's all she wrote. It's got to be two, three. Okada with stuck three different sweet chin musics. And it took two Rainmakers. And this means Kazuchika Okada, the Rainmaker himself, does get himself a title opportunity, a championship of his choosing. So he will have to announce it ahead of time. But Okada can challenge for any belt here in PTW. I mean, with the exception of the junior heavyweight titles. Because, uh... He isn't a junior. He's he's slightly surpassed the weight limit for that one, so he can't really challenge for that. But either way, any championship he is qualified to challenge for, which means he can challenge for the trios titles, he can challenge for the tag titles, he can challenge for the hardcore title, he can challenge for the world title. Any of those ma any of those belts Okada can go for, he just has to announce it ahead of time. So we'll see where that one goes. But ladies and gentlemen, coming up next, speaking of the tag division, we are moving into the tag division. So wait right where you are. We have got ourselves a huge eight-person tag match coming up next involving both sets of tag team champions. So right where you are, that one's coming up shortly. Huge eight-person tag team match coming up next where both sets of tag team champions, the men's tag team champions and the women's tag team champions, have been tasked with finding themselves two tag team partners for the opposite side, essentially, to come and join them in an eight-person tag team match. And it looks like the women's tag team champions of Rogue and She-Hulk have found themselves two other members of the Marvel Universe to join them tonight. They have found themselves Wade Wilson, also known as Deadpool, and Steve Rogers known as Captain America. Keeping it in the family, I suppose. This is a formidable looking unit. 
Women's Tag Team Champions have got themselves some uh, some big backup here tonight. And the Men's Tag Team Champs, who have they brought along? Who have House of Black brought? And it looks like the House of Black, Malachi Black and Buddy Matthews have brought themselves Dakota Kai and Alexa Bliss. Those two have not been a tag team before, as to the best of my knowledge, they never have. They never have in PTW. But here they are tonight, teaming together with the tag team champions of the House of Black. It's going to be interesting to see how well these units work together. We know the Marvel Universe is probably going to work together pretty well, even if they do have Deadpool, who's a bit of a live wire. Looks like we're starting things off with Rogue and Malachi Black. And Black already just kicks out the leg. you got to wonder if the... Uh, Whichever team gets the victory here, it might give the two non-championship members an opportunity at the opposing team's titles at a later date. Oh god, just grabbing Malachi by his hair and flinging him. Tagging in Deadpool. Tags here to Buddy Matthews. Here we go, Malachi now just multiple elbows off the ropes. Buddy with a knee to the back of the head of Deadpool. Obviously it's very difficult to keep Deadpool down. He is one of the... Oh, cut a little jumping knee. That might do it, though. Deadpool's one of the most resilient people you'll probably ever meet. But he already tagged out to Captain America. Nice combination there. The atomic drop into the Integuri. And then an ankle lock from, from the cap. My buddy, big elbow to the back of the head. Where he retreats, tags in Bliss. Cap kicking them both down. A suplex from Cap. Drops Bliss near center of the ring. Mounted punches now. One oh, over and over again. Scooping a slam from Bliss. Takes the cap down. Sliding drop kick. No real run up, but there was no room. And here comes Dakota, and here comes She Hulk. Dakota Kai was incredibly close to becoming the PTW Women's Champion at the last major event. She challenged Rosemary and got very close, but. Once again, Rosemary kept her composure and kept things uh, kept things pretty pretty dominant, really, in that division since she's held that belt. She held the belt and changed the rules that they have to face her in a steel cage. Nobody's been able to beat her. Look at that falling powerbomb from She-Hulk. The entire team for the House of Black came in there to break that pin up. They were worried, but She-Hulk powerhouse, obviously slapping Dakota with such force. It was already tagged out back to Bliss. Nice reversal of the suplex, but Bliss is right there with the double knees. Insult to injury style. Insecurity from Bliss. Goes for the elbow, doesn't connect. Tag back out to Rogue. Five gone. Oh, there's delayed. Delayed from Shield. Sends Bliss to the floor. So Deadpool's already down there with a the weapon. Bliss completely on her own now. And here comes the entire House of Black to the other side. Rogue trying to fight them off in the ring. Bliss trying to fight off the whole Marvel team on the outside. She just took a chair shot to the head. God, it's hard to call what's going on. It's two completely separate sides here. Bliss slipped down. Cap. Knees to the ribs of Rogue. Deadpool trying to show off and Buddy just attacked him. Now everyone's getting close in. Wait a minute. Jackhammer on the floor. I think there's a running shooting star press from Buddy there. Deadpool just did something off the ropes. I think Bliss just did a code red. So difficult to keep up with what's going on here. This is broken down already. Everybody in the ring now. A rogue going for that claw on Bliss. Trying to tap her out. Didn't manage it. Oh, Mishinoku driver there. I caught that. Snap suplex. Tags on both sides. Buddy and the cap tagged in. Buddy sits Rogue up. Off the ropes he goes. Sliding knee to Rogue. Ducked under cap. And then a backslide to the cap. One. Rogue just kicks out pretty quickly. Buddy up top in dangerous waters. Frog splash to the spine. Good God. Shadows over hell. Oh, Buddy keeping hold of the suplex now. It looks like he's going free amigo style. Shouts out Eddie Guerrero. Stands up Rogue. Goes behind. Ripcord knee. Good God. Rogue just about recovering. Don't know how. I thought that would have taken a while. But forearms for uppercuts now. Back and forth they go. And a super kick there from Buddy. And Rogue with one of her own. 
Nice up kick there from Buddy Matthews, keeping him down. Tags out to Black. Oh, swinging a miss with the chair. Here comes She Hulk. Open. Nice! Power bomb backbreaker style. Which is head and then just kicks out the knee again. Black likes doing that when he's in trouble. Nice running boot to the face. Cover one. Just a one count rogue set to break it. <laughs> Black kicking down all three. Stared them all down there. Now locks in a dragon sleeper. Everybody getting in the ring for a second. Black and She-Hulk the only ones legal at the minute. Tags out there to Dakota. So Dakota's now legal with She-Hulk. But She-Hulk's caught her. Looks like she's going for a jackhammer. One. Two. Just a two count. Once again, everything's broken down. Looks like there was an ankle lock there. Top Dakota. Multiple knees, but not really working out for her. Off the ropes goes Rogue, running clothesline. Damn near took a head off. Back to her feet, swing the miss, tags. We turn around and say that the winners will probably get a future tag team title shot, but what we've not turned around and said is the fact the main event tonight is for the number one contendership. Oh, good God, double super kicks. That was pretty impressive as Deadpool helped Bliss in the air. Bliss might be out. I know she's up. Because I was saying the main event tonight, I was going to say I wasn't going to announce what everything is, but I want to just give a little bit of a hint. The main event tonight is a number one contendership match for the tag team titles. So it'll be curious to see where things go with that one. Because you got to wonder, if Team Marvel win, Cap and Deadpool might have themselves a, a viable viable argument to also challenge for the tag titles pretty soon. Black multiple strikes. Damn near kicked Deadpool's head off. Buddy off the ropes. Burning knee to the back of the head again. Cover one. Two. Oh, 2.9. Deadpool just survives. Again, one of the most resilient people you will meet here at PTW. Brainbuster. She-Hulk. Eye of the Storm. Eye of the Storm to Malachi. Damn near sent him flying out of the ring. Oh, this is breaking down. This, this might have barely been able to contain itself. I think Malachi is legal. I'm not sure who's legal on the other side. Deadpool Shuffle. Deadpool Shuffle. Malachi's got himself a submission locked in on She-Hulk. I'm guessing she's a legal competitor. My god. Code reds. Elbows. Black Mass. Malachi hit the Black Mass. Doesn't go for the pin. Shockingly. Instead goes back to that submission. Try to tap She-Hulk out. Everybody able to run interference in time. Submission on Deadfall there as well. Black multiple kicks. Such an impressive striker is Black. Stands him up now. Double team attempt. She Hulk manages to escape. Treats over tags out to Rogue. Buddy just dropped Rogue pretty quickly with that elbow, but he's caught into a brain buster from She Hulk. Not even a brain buster, sorry, a jackhammer. I suppose a jackhammer is sort of a variation on a brain buster, depending on how you land it. Oh, headbutts from Rogue. Something she took very uh, big inspiration from Paige from. Smooth salt there to a standing Buddy Matthews. Rogue drags Buddy out. Cover. One. Two. House of Black right there to break it. My god, that triple team once again. Wait, was that a running shooting star? That was a running shooting star. Three. Buddy with the running shooting star press. Pins Rogue. House of Black get the victory here. you got to wonder, is that going to put Alexa Bliss and Dakota Kai in line for a championship match in the future? you got to wonder. An argument could very well be made. Well, folks, we are going to move swiftly on now to the hardcore division here in PTW. So, not as to give too much away, this one's going to be... This one's probably going to be pretty damn brutal, folks. So, wait right here you are. It's coming up next. Well, folks, this one's going to be something a little bit different here in the hardcore division because we have got a tag team match here in the PTW hardcore division. Something you don't really see all that often. Ladies and gentlemen... Landmine Deathmatch Tag Team, the Awesome Ones versus the Shield, here we go! 
And you can see Mike Awesome and the Miz have come somewhat in streetwear here. Something impressive, whereas Moxley and uh, Rollins, they are just in their regular wrestling gear. Even though Moxley's wrestling gear is somewhat similar to Mike Awesome's streetwear from the looks of it. Mike Awesome and Moxley pairing off and the Miz and Rollins pairing off. i say something we haven't done here in PTW yet is a tag team death match here in the hardcore division. But we wanted to see how it went. So I mean, it's of significance. It's the first time we've done it. Powerbomb, another awesome bomb from Mike Awesome. Miz, I'm somewhat surprised. Miz is in a suit. <laughs> Miz is here in a suit. Awesome at least has brought out the jeans. This now, shot to the back of the head. These guys are just going off and going quickly. 100 mile an hour. Mark throws Miz off the ropes. And so they bumped head with Rollins. And this is an environment that at the very least Moxley and Awesome are going to be very familiar with. It's environments that they're going to they're going to thrive in. Whereas the tag team partners of Rollins and Miz, probably less so. It's not really their forte in this environment. So it's so far as you've got one experienced hardcore wrestler and one less experienced hardcore wrestler on each team. What's Rollins going for? Looks like Rollins might be going for a power bomb, whereas Miz hits Moxley with that hammer. And clacks Moxley in the back of the head. It looks like Miz is taken to this environment pretty damn quickly. He's already hitting people in the head with hammers. Marks has caught Miz. Oh, he might have been go. I don't know what he might be going for. What's the name of that move? Hook and ladder. He might be going for the hook and ladder. Assisted awesome bomb. And a big boot. Looks like the awesome ones are really on fire tonight. Miz go for the figure four to Rollins, but Moxley already breaks it up very damn quickly. Super kick, but awesome. Ooh, running awesome bomb. One, two. Oh, 2.9. Moxley just survived the awesome bomb, but comes out swinging with the forearms. Rollins has got the hammer. Swing the miss. Another running awesome bomb. But Moxley managed to get his feet outside the ring. There's a paradigm shift. And he goes for a knee bar instead of going for the pin. Miz just multiple punches to Rollins. Double team assisted. Awesome bomb. And Rollins just throwing everything he has. Kendo stick shot to the head of Mox there. Jumping head but though to fire back. Miz had himself a camel clutch locked in. There's an STO. Scooping a slam from Rollins. Cover one. Just a one count. And scary attempt didn't land. Awesome's got the hammer. Miz just throwing strikes again. Oh my god, Awesome is just clocking Moxley over and over. The screams at his back, but Moxley fires back with those elbows. Kendo stick in hand. Big boot attempt doesn't land it. Kendo stick, you heard that connect to the ribs. Rollins, Rollins now is trying to tap Miz out while Moxley lands a pile driver on Awesome. But now Miz throws in the uh, throws in the figure four. Moxley tells Awesome exactly what he thinks of him, but he's caught for another Awesome bomb. Again, Moxley puts himself out of bounds. You cannot win this match outside of the ring, and Moxley put himself out of the ring there. Put himself just enough out of the ring for the referee to say, nah, out of bounds. Moxley snapping at the arm of the Miz. Kendo stick shot drops Miz square in the center of the ring. Knee drop from Rollins. Shots to the ribs again. Awesome pile driver. So Moxley tries to snap at the arm again. Awesome save Miz. Oh, cross face from Mox. But Mike's right there to break it. Go behind. Release German. Moxley goes flying to the floor. I think he missed all the explosions. Carefully scooting around it. He did, he just missed all those explosions. He <laughs> also threw him too far. Chop lock from the Miz. Goes back for it. Oh god! Miz just tapped out Moxley just as awesome threw Rollins to the ground. Rollins just connected, exploded on the barbed wire just as Moxley was tapped out by the Miz with the figure four. I've got to admit. That was somewhat of a surprising victory there for the awesome ones. I was not prepared for that. Well, ladies and gentlemen, coming up next is your main event of the evening. It is a number one contendership for the tag team titles, as we have mentioned. So, ladies and gentlemen, 
without any further ado, right right where you are, that match is coming up next. Main event time, folks, and it is your number one contendership for the PTW Tag Team titles. Who is going to move on to take on House of Black at a later date here at PTW? The other two teams vying for that opportunity. Coming out first, former PTW Tag Team Champions, the Golden Lovers themselves, Kenny Omega and Kota Ibushi. Because it's been a while since we have seen these two here in action. They were incredibly impressive. They, uh... They won a tag team tournament, I believe, to get themselves uh, the original time they won the titles. Kenny obviously started things off as part of the elite here in PTW and left them pretty quickly to rejoin the, uh, to reform the Golden Lovers. But ladies and gentlemen, they have got themselves a hell of a task tonight as they are taking on the New Day themselves, Kofi Kingston and Big E. Well, Big E is going to be the ultimate powerhouse in this match. Everyone else somewhat of a similar size and stature when it comes to uh, Kofi, Kenny and Kota. Kota probably a bit more, Kota and Kenny probably a bit more built than Kofi. Kota and Kofi, this is going to get really confusing. But we're starting things off with Kenny and Big E. They chop to the chest, the huge chest of uh, Big E. Off the ropes they go. Nice leg caught, back heel trip. Nice elbow drop to the face there. Of course, when it comes to pure wrestling skill, there are very few in the world that are, that could even rival Kenny, that could even come close to Kenny Omega. But don't count out the likes of Big E. Golden oh. trigger! Golden trigger already! Nice kick to the spine. I say Big E incredibly resilient. Can move very quickly for a man of his size. Sidewalk slam, and Big E is one of the most powerful people, just naturally, that you'll probably ever meet. Here comes Kofi, one of the more resilient competitors you could ever hope to meet. Kofi, while he likes to have fun in the ring, he likes to have a joke, he likes to have a laugh, but he is still one of the best. You can't even argue it, he, is, he puts on some of the best matches that you could hope for, given the opportunity. And he's got that opportunity tonight with the likes of Kenny and Kota, with the Golden Lovers. And this is an exchange I never thought I would see. Kofi Kingston and Kota Ibushi exchanging blows in the center of the ring. Tag to Kenny. Kota thrown into the... Sorry, Kofi thrown into the corner. Kota now. No, he's caught. Turn it DDT off the ropes. Then kicks Kenny down as well, firing back. Tag back out to E. And here we go, a strike exchange from Kenny and Big E. Kenny gets the better of it, but Kofi's right there. Kenny just throws Kofi <laughs> off the other side. Locks in a sharpshooter. The whole running joke of if you are uh, from Canada, you have to do a sharpshooter if you're in wrestling. A nice big body block there. And Kenny, you can't escape. Fit Finley roll. But Big E. Nice, big ending. Or his variation of the big ending he uses here in PTW. More like a soccer street cutter, but hell, it works. And there's a tag out to Kofi. Both Golden Lovers drop down there. The New Day in complete control right now. Oh, but Kofi trying to fire back. He manages to drop Kofi, center of the ring. Look at those two just skating around each other. Big kick attempt, misses twice. Hits the forearm though. Kenny hits one, sorry, Kofi hits one back. So many Ks in this match. Kofi up top. Diving splash to the spine of Kota. Up top and Kota fires a forearm. A jumping net break. A slam there from Kingston. And a big drop kick. Kofi's starting to really build momentum, but there's a tag out to Omega. Golden trigger again. Golden trigger. Bangs, connects square on the jaw. Kenny has... Kenny and Kota are just really hammering home. Big shot to big shot to Kofi. Who manages to escape and tagging E. Kind of needed it there. Kenny's just Irish whipping people like nobody's business. Belly to belly slam from E there. Not a release. Oh, Kenny. Oh my god, the double underhook pile driver from Kenny Omega. Tags out to Kota. We know now that Big E's going to have a rough neck. Trigger. And another cotton trigger. 
And so we know that Big E now is going to have a rough neck after recent years. But oh, good God, again with that pile driver. Probably a smart move to work on the neck. But Big E just launches Kota out of the ring now with that belly to belly. Delayed. Delayed suplex. And the tag out back to Kofi. Big straight punch from Kota. Drops Big E. Kofi keeps going with those boom drop leg drops. He went for the trouble in paradise there. You saw it. Nice with a submission there. But Kenny's had to break it. Knee drop to the back of Kofi's head. And the camel clutch from Kota. Kenny running interference. Up the ropes to go. Big powerful scoop slam. <laughs> the, bit, the new day really starting to uh, build momentum now. There's a running double stomp. One. Kenny right there to break it. Kenny knows that when Kofi hits that, that's a dangerous maneuver. Oh my god. Two story German suplex to Kofi. Running power slam though from Ian. A bulldog from Kofi. Leg drop to Kota once again. Boom drop style tag. Both sides. Now a German suplex attempt from Big E, but Kenny. SOS from Kofi. Up the ropes. E with a body block. Super kick from Omega. Atomic drop. Kenny shrugs. Off the ropes he goes. Oh, Kofi ran interference. You Smart move. He might be thinking uh, V trigger there, but he still managed to hit. You can't escape. But E. E might be thinking big ending. Cover. One. Far too close to the Golden Lovers corner. SOS and a belly to belly combination. Big strike exchanges from Kota. Sidewalk slam though for me. Drops Kenny. Dragging Kenny closer towards the center away from the ropes. He's might be thinking big ending again and he connects. But Kenny straight back to his feet and comes out swinging. Somehow that big ending just bounced Kenny back to his feet. Big into Guri from Omega. Tags out to Kota. Stands him up. Got the multiple strikes. Abushi. Don't know what Abushi's thinking here. He's sending Kenny up top. Double stomp. Kota seems to be waiting for something. Off the ropes he goes. Oh, but Big E got out of the way. I don't know what Kota was thinking there. But backslide. One, two, three. Shock backslide from Kingston. Out of nowhere. The backslide. Got Kota Ibushi by surprise. And your winner. The winners are new to ball contenders to the House of Blacks PTW Tag Team Championship is the new day. Kofi Kingston and Big E. Well, thank you, ladies and gentlemen, so much for joining me in this one. It has been a genuine pleasure as per usual. Like, comment, subscribe. You know the drill. All the fun stuff. And we will see you next week for week 31. Bye.